In this movie, we're going to create a reveal using the eraser tool. Now, reveals are a nice way of transitioning footage onto the screen. If we have a look at this piece of footage here, if I just preview this, you'll notice that I've got some really nice footage here from Artbeats. They've donated footage to this project. So I have some nice background footage. And then I have this door coming down over time and graffiti just appearing on it. Now, the Artbeats footage that's donated for this project, you're free to use in non-commercial uses. But if you want to buy the footage, these are low resolution versions with watermarks. You can buy the high resolution versions, HD versions, without the watermarks at artbeats.com. And all the information about Artbeats is in the folder with the footage so you can get some money off. So what we want to do here is we want to have this footage playing, then the shutter doors come down, but instead of the footage just appearing, the graffiti just appearing, I want it to draw on over time. And then at the end here, the garage door lifts up to reveal the footage of the programme that these are the opening titles for. And you'll see that we can see a transparency grid behind that because Artbeats not only supplies the footage, but supplies a mat for the footage, which allows me to reveal this transparency. You'll see I've done that by um, setting up a track mat in the nested composition. OK. So what we want to do is get this footage appearing over time. Now, I could use just the regular brush tool. And as we saw with matte painting, if I double click this to open it up in the layer window and paint with um, a black brush, I will reveal pixels behind. OK. If I paint with a white brush, I'll add pixels. So you can paint with black and white. The only thing with that is what I would have to do is paint first of all with black to delete the pixels, then paint with white to bring the pixels back. And it would mean that I'd end up having two brush strokes. So what we're going to do is just delete those. And instead, what I'm going to do is show you how to do this with the eraser tool. Now, if you want to follow along with this project, you can open up Motion Design Paint, and there are two versions, CS55 and CS4. Open up the one that's applicable to the version that you're using, CS4 for either version CS5 or CS4, and CS55 for version CS55 of After Effects. And in here, we have the Reveals project, which I believe is number five we're going to start with. So what I want you to do is make sure that you're at marker one and select the graffiti layer. And instead of setting up our brushes and having to choose the colours to create transparency, what we can do is simply just turn our pen upside down and we now have the eraser tool. The nice thing about the eraser tool is it sets it up without having to go up there and select it. But you may want to go in and adjust the settings for the eraser tool. And if you do, you actually need to select the eraser tool. So what I have set up here is I've set up the eraser tool to work on write-on mode, which means it will automatically record the speed and the time that I take to paint and create keyframes. And I've asked it to erase layer source and paint. But once I've done that, I don't need to actually go and select the tool. All I need to do is turn it upside down. And as soon as I turn the pen upside down, it automatically toggles to the eraser tool. And what I'm going to do is just gradually paint this footage out. And I'm going to go roughly in the order that I think it would be drawn. But we're going backwards, you'll notice. And you'll see why we're going backwards in a second. So I'm just going to quickly paint that text in. You would maybe take a bit longer and use a smaller brush. Now, you'll see that as soon as I stop painting, the paint appears again. So what I want you to do is hit the U key on the keyboard so you can see the keyframes and just scroll through. And you'll notice that as you scroll through, the paint is painted off over time. But we want the paint to be painted on over time, not off. Now, if we go back to our composition, we can see what's happening is the paint is there at the beginning and then is gradually removed. We want the opposite. So what we need to do is take these keyframes and retime them. OK, the first thing we want to do is select the keyframes and you do that by clicking on the end value and dragging the keyframes in. And then we want to squeeze them together. So I'm going to hold down the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on Windows. And I've got an Express key set up to do that on here. And that allows me to squeeze that keyframe in. And then we can pull these keyframes out and just get the exact timing that we want. So we've got the timing we want. Now what we need to do is reverse them. And there's a really easy way to do that. 
Click on the end value to select both keyframes, go to animation, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and now we should have the paint painting on over time instead of painting off over time. So that's how to use the eraser brush to do a reveal rather than having to paint with black and white brushes and create multiple strokes to create your reveal. And there's an end one here that you can open up to see the end result. So if you want to play that, you can see the end result of the reveal. And in this one, I've spent a little bit more time painting the text. So we're getting a little bit more detail. The letters are being drawn on one by one rather than as a big group. And then it reveals the TV program behind it. So that's a few ideas about creating reveals. You can use reveals to do all sorts of things, not just with text, but with images as well. You can reveal images over time. You can have people appearing in shots by creating reveals and create kind of ghostly effects with them. So have a play with using reveals, using the eraser tool and your Wacom tablet.